Mexico City, home to 22 million people, where cycling is on the rise, thanks to a recent upgrade in cycling infrastructure. The Mexican capital's bicycle sharing programme, EcoBici, recently went electric, and with battery-powered bikes now available at 670 stations throughout the city, more commuters than ever are switching to pedal power. I use it every day. It's an excellent mode of transport to get to and from work, and I have liked the change. I had been using EcoBici before the upgrade, and now these new bicycles are much better. And he's not the only satisfied user. In March 2023, EcoBC registered more than 820,000 rides and totaled more than 2 million for the first quarter of this year. For the capital's transport authorities, it's an important shift away from the traffic volumes that leave the average commuter spending 158 hours a year sitting in congestion. Estableció como un criterio básico la promoción de la bicicleta a la ciudad. Conectar las periferias. Our aim is to promote the use of cycling in the city by bringing bicycle infrastructure to the outer reaches of the urban area, where people want to cycle but do not have the opportunity. It's a series of actions which will increase cycling volumes in the long term as more infrastructure becomes available. Irais Maya is a pro-cycling activist in this megacity. She says cycle-sharing infrastructure like this is key for the culture to grow. Bicycle-sharing transport systems are very important for incentivizing people to take up cycling. That was certainly my case. I began using EcoBici to go short distances and gradually increased my use over time to the point at which the bicycle is now my primary mode of transport. As the Mexican capital invests heavily in cycling, the city hopes more bikes on the streets will start the chain reaction. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Mexico City.